luck. Wow. Holy to base. I'm flying over Bear Lake. Still no signs of the plane. Over. Whose idea was it to run anyway? I guess we got away, huh? Yes, we did. Now how do we get out of here? Well, I don't know. Forget it, let's just get out of here. What if they find the plane and we're not there? Then they'll just ask the bear which way we went, Piglet. Don't call me Piglet. <coughs> Stop it! Hey, that's enough. <coughs> Come on, let's go. somewhere. Not even settle for a path. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to get us out of here. You don't even know where we're going. And besides, who put you in charge? All right, fine. If you think you could do any better, go ahead. But I'm going that way. Guys, shut up. All right, we're going to stick together. That's the deal. Now, which way do you want to go? Good choice, Piglet. Me too. We're all thirsty. Just keep walking. Isn't there a mini market around here? There's always a mini market when you need one. She's delirious. We're in big trouble now. I'm just saying that a nice cold jumbled cherry slusher would sure hit the spot. Or a beer. Since when have you been drinking beer? I had a couple last week at Brett's party. So what's it like? It's no big deal, really. It makes you feel kind of dizzy, kind of woozy, like this. Ah! Jake! Jake! Oh my gosh. Uh, Jake! Uh, Stay still! Jake! Don't move! Don't move! I'm not gonna move, all right? He's gonna fall! We have to get help! Do something! Just let me think! Jake, don't move! I'm 
I'm going down there. Are you crazy? Would you rather go? TV. Ah, easy, it's tight. It's supposed to be. Oh man, how are we ever gonna get off this thing? I got an idea. I'm gonna go up there first, and about halfway through, I'll start to pull you up, okay? Come on, Justy. Even if you make it, what about me? Okay, first of all, don't call me Justy. Second of all, just chill out. The third, I'm all you got. Let's go. Come on! Come on! Use your other leg! Be careful! I'm in Sector 7, flying into Glacier Valley Creek. Over. Maintain your course, CX-1. Their last radio transmission came from there. Over. the scent of a bloodhound or what? Well, maybe the face of one.
Sure. I'm, uh, I'm sorry about this morning. Forget it. We're both getting what we deserve here. It's simple, really. What isn't loved is taken away. Oh, come on. We both love the kids, you know that. Oh, we've been doing a really good job of showing it lately. Have you heard anything? No. It'll be dark soon, and we'll uh, resume the search in the morning. We will. We'll contact you if we hear anything. Why wait till morning? You can't leave them out there another night. What, what if they're hurt? <sighs> Folks, that terrain is treacherous by day. At night, it's impossible. Well, I'll go out and find them myself. Bill. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Andridge, I understand your frustration, OK? But putting more people in danger is not going to help us to find your children. Lieutenant, uh, we're really very grateful for all the effort. I'm sure you're doing your best. Look, it's not a problem. I feel for you. I have children of my own. I'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Yeah. Michelle. Please don't. Okay, okay. But I guarantee you we're going to find our kids. Oh, you're sure about that, are you? Absolutely. Something. Here. Oh, tiger bars again. I hate leftovers. I'm joking, I'm joking. Geez, the wilderness sure has taken away your senses of humor. There. Don't eat it all in one place. No! Mm -mm, just like mama makes. <laughs> you dweeb. <laughs> Don't you call my nerdy brother a dweeb? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe getting lost out here wasn't such a bad thing after all. At least there's no fighting to listen to. Yeah, I wonder what mom and dad are doing now. They're probably arguing over what color coffins to buy us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dad's probably on his phone tracking down the best deal. Yeah, that's right. And yours, Carly, yours is the cheapest because you're the smallest. <laughs> yeah, we could probably squish you into a baby coffin. Or maybe just chop off your arms and legs to make you fit. Stop it right now! I think Mom and Dad are getting back together this minute so they can help each other find us. Or maybe help each other find some sharp knives to chop you up with. <laughs> hey. It's a nice thought, Piglet. But I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Let's get some sleep, and tomorrow we'll follow the creek until we find somebody, OK? I sure hope you're right. You know, maybe listening to Mom and Dad fight wasn't so bad after all. Good night, my lovelies. Hi, my friend and I are a little bit lost. I'm just wondering if you use your phone. I don't have no telephone. 
Can him in coffee? I've been driving in circles for hours. Don't have no coffee. Oh, maybe I can rustle up something. Thanks. Jeez, I got the shakes battle, man. What's the matter? You been in the woods too long? You're not used to the company? What? No, no. Just can't seem to get a grip on this pot. Now, follow the logging road another 20 miles and you'll find the main highway. This tastes like mud. That well, must have been brewing too long. I'll show you brewing too long. Joe. Hard to get maid service up here. <laughs> maid service, that's good. <sighs> How's the mine? Slim. You find anything yet? Do I know you? No. Let me introduce myself. Where's the gold? Gold, my. They haven't found any in this area for since the 20s. Don't insult me, pal. My friend over at the land claims office was very impressed by the purity of what you found. Oh, no, that must have some fool's gold. You're the fool, Slim. You shouldn't have told him how big your strike was. Now, where is it? It's all mine now. Oh, I will not ask you again. All right, all right. It's in the stove. I love your style, Al. <sighs> Bingo. <laughs> Let's see the mine. There's no more gold. There's not an ounce left. That's a shame, Sam. <laughs> I'm really sorry to hear that. <laughs> start the search again. What happened to us, Bill? Why did you push me away? Was it so bad that you had to just toss it all in? Our family? Me? Do you really think that I purposely set out to hurt you or the kids? I just got caught up. Caught up with the responsibility of it all. I couldn't even begin to tell you where we went off track. All I remember is I was writing music and playing in those funky little hole-in-the-wall clubs. I knew if I could get a hit, just one hit, we were so broke. That was exciting. Uh, well, wait a minute. I love those times, too, but I never asked you to quit the music. You could have played as long as you wanted to. I always supported you. I know, I know that. I love that about you. But then the kids came along, and then the house, life, it just happened. It was my turn to support you. Hello. Michael, can this wait? I gotta take it. All right, go ahead, give me the numbers. Tech 
by the child eating bugs. Shh. What's he doing? What does it look like he's doing? He's making breakfast. Trying to catch you, Cole. You want to eat or what? Ugh, man, I'm so hungry that I could even eat sushi. Yeah, well, you're gonna be unless you get a fire started. <laughs> Come on, I'll help you spot them. I gotta go get some wood for the fire. Okay? Okay? Slim took out of here, there must have been a lot more. Maybe it shouldn't have been so quick to pop off, old Slim. Ow, 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 ow! It was annoying me. And you know how much I hate to be annoying. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Good. Yeah, it's just an observation. <laughs> an observation! An observation! <laughs> well, try observing this. A glittering streak of yellow. Working its way through stone, that's gonna make you and I very rich men. Now, come on. Boy. <coughs> sure these things are solid here? Of course they're solid. Been here long enough. on the aircraft. Repeat, we found it. Over. We copy that. 
What's the status? It's hard to tell. There's a lot of debris down here. The fuselage seems pretty intact. Over. Let's move to parameter 6-2, and let's get some tracking dogs in there. Can we drive there? Unfortunately, it's some of the roughest terrain in this area. There's no place for me to land. I'm going to direct the ground force to the crash site. Over. Lieutenant Barnes, Kruger here. We're on the ground. I'm surveying the crash site. Doesn't seem to be any signs of life, though. Hold on. Hold on a second. We've got a deceased adult male. I copy that. Lieutenant, there are no other victims at this time. Repeat, the children are not at the crash site. Oh, thank Our kids, they, uh, they stick together. Tomorrow, the ground force will move north into the national forest with the dogs. Now, you're both more than welcome to monitor their progress at the rescue center. That would be great. I just want you to know that uh, folks around here don't give up very easily. We're going to find your kids for you. Thank you. We'll be there. Carly! Carly! Come on. Let's go see if she's up here. You better find Carly. Your mom will kill us. We're wasting our time. Slim gave us the last of the gold. He said so himself. You are such a jerk. It's got to be around here somewhere. Come on. Come on. That old geezer wouldn't just leave those pouches in plain sight, that's for sure. <sighs> Give me a hand with these rocks. Huh? The rocks. <clears throat> What are you thinking? I'm thinking you should check it out. You check it out. I'm claustrophobic. I to be a rat to squeeze into that little hole. So what are you waiting for? Funny. You know what it's like to be a rich man? No. <laughs> You're gonna... <laughs> Get out of my way! No! No! Huh? Oh, don't just stand there, come on! What are you waiting for? Son must have been a contortionist to gone through there. <sighs> you try. Come on, you son of a... You, Joe. Always the pessimist. <sighs> Start thinking about what mutual funds you're going to invest in. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Hold up, this whole sucker's gonna come down on our heads. 
I am six inches from never having to work or steal or murder again. You think I'm gonna let a little thing like a cave in bother me? Well, yeah. I need some air. You're up there laughing at us, aren't you, Slim? You all right? Come on, honey. Wake up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what this is? No. This is one of the kids that went down on that plane. You know, the ones they're all searching for. If you ain't right. She don't seem too bad off. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. What? <laughs> Take a good look, Joe. We just got ourselves a cash advance from God. <laughs> Carly! Carly! Oh man, we lost her. Okay, let's just think a second. She's got to be around here somewhere. Feeling better? You gave us quite a scare. <laughs> Thought we might have scared you to death. <laughs> so, are you sure you haven't seen two boys? They were with me in the woods. Not that I know of. Well, then we have to get help. How far away are we from a telephone? Whoa, whoa. you're not going anywhere till the morning, okay? What do you mean? My brothers may be dead. You do have a car, don't you? Well, yeah, but... And on this car, there's headlights, right? No, hold... Hold on. The roads here are really rough to drive at night, and you're not gonna help yourself or your brothers if you get hurt, right? Yeah, but... So, we're staying here till the morning. Got it? I guess. We'll get you home, girly. Besides, we've got a little favor we wanna ask of you. They'll be all right, you know, we're gonna find them. I know they're okay. I can feel it inside me. It's just sad. We had such a good thing for such a long time. It's, uh, it's ironic, that's all. There's so many things. I never cared about the things. All the things that you worked so hard for all the things that you thought I needed. It's ironic because all I ever really cared about was you and the kids. And that's what I've lost. Well, maybe it doesn't have to be that way. <laughs> what are you talking about? Maybe we should give it another shot. Come on, Shell, we got lost. Like the kids, they're out there trying to find their way back. Maybe we can too. Oh, Bill, the kids, I hope they're all right. Yeah, no, they're gonna be all right. Like Jake's gonna make sure of that. <laughs> you get some sleep. Tomorrow we find our family. Good night.
Hello? Hello? Excuse me. Is there a payphone around? Thanks. Keep your legs still. There. You should be safe here. I'm gonna go find Carly. Oh, man. How am I ever gonna get out of here with this stupid leg? Don't worry. We'll get you out of here. As soon as we find Carly, we'll both carry you out of here if we have to. You did a great job on the cliff, you know? Thanks. I'm really sorry I didn't help you out when you were getting beat up. I mean, fighting that Dylan idiot. It's okay. It's not okay. I was a real jerk. One of the most important things there is, is to stick up for your brother. Oh, man, I'm really sorry, Justy. I, I mean, Justin. You can call me Justy. I just fought him because I wanted to be more like you. Like me? Yeah, you, you never let anybody push you around. I think you picked the wrong guy to look up to. I thought if maybe I was more like you, then Mom and Dad wouldn't get divorced. You think Mom and Dad are getting a divorce because of you? If they're getting a divorce because of anyone, it's because of me. I'm the dirtbag, hanging around with people like Brett Davis, thinking that I'm Mr. Cool. Justin, Mom and Dad are the reason why Mom and Dad are splitting up. Hmm. You know what, Justin? I wish I was more like you. Come on, let's get some sleep. You think Carly's okay? Let me tell you something. She's probably got a pack of wolves laying on their backs waiting for her to scratch their tummies. In fact, I'm starting to feel sorrier for the animals. I think the rescue chopper found her. Do you really think so? Just trying to be optimistic. Carly! 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 
This is the favor I was telling you about last night. Now, I want you to take that teeny tiny pickaxe and crawl through that hole and chip away at any rocks that have pretty yellow stuff running through it. You mean gold? She's a smart one. Yeah. And then just keep the rocks coming out, all those rocks that have the, the pretty yellow stuff running through it, okay? And what if I don't? If you do anything to annoy me or upset me, and in your case, that means talking, I will tell my friend, Mr. Knife, to slice and dice you. Now get out of that hole! And make your uncle Al proud. Hey? Hey? Downstream? I hope so. Let's hope the girl guides taught her something. Four helicopters doing a canvas search of an area that we call Nugget Valley. Now, running alongside it is Glacier Creek. If they stumbled on that, chances are they wouldn't have strayed too far. If Jake made it as far as the creek, he's going to go downstream here towards these lower elevations. <laughs> Must have been a Boy Scout. Eagle. Consider yourself saved. Oh, that's great, honey. You just keep those little beauties rolling out. Oh, I love this. Joseph. How rich you want to be, man? What do you say we uh, give her a break? What are you on the child labor board? What? Maybe we should give her a break. Let her have some air. Good idea, Al. Come on, girl. Climb on out of there. Up truck out front if nobody lived here. This is considered breaking and entering. Jake, you're delirious. This is considered an emergency situation. Will you come on? Quick! Get her to the table! Go! Go! Ow! 
her down. Wouldn't want anything to happen to our little weasel. <laughs> Come on, honey. You know, all this mining has made me peckish. How about it, Joe? You hungry? No. So when are you gonna let me go? It's not that we don't trust you, darling. But we don't trust you. <laughs> so you just do what I tell you to do, little Red, and maybe you'll get to see your brothers again. Hey, Joe, do you know anything about weasels? Why? Weasels multiply, Joe, and I think we've got us another one! Get out of there, you! Dad! Well, get him! Easy! I'll give you easy! What are you doing snooping around here? Leave him alone! He's my brother! Come on, kid! We got your brother and sister. Gonna hurt them unless you come out. Long gone, and we better be too. Let's just quit! Get, get up! Stop that! Are you okay? Yeah. Is your leg bad? Oh, it's definitely infected. What do those guys want from you? Well, you see, there's this cave full of gold. And the hole to get in is too small for anyone but me. Do, what has to be done. Do, you understand? Do you think Justin will get help? Get help? Out here? We're still as lost as we ever were. Jake, I'm scared. They're gonna kill us. I don't think that owl guy likes me. He says I annoy him. It's okay, it's okay. Justin will find help. Let me think. <laughs> You know what I'm saying here? We need to take what we got and get out. No way! Not until we get the rest of that gold! Come on, let's not get greedy. We got we got more than enough. Get the girl. I, I really... You really what? I really think... You really think what? I, I think... You think we... what? Forget it. I'll get the girl myself. Stay put, or I will cut off your sister's head and send it back to you in a box. Do you understand? Yeah! You! Take the girl! Hey! Sit down and shut up! Let me go. Come on, little red! Justin, get me out of here. I can't. The door's locked. I'm going to go see where they're taking Carly. Don't worry. I'll be back. Oh, Justin. Justin, get back here. Hey, Justin. It's pretty quiet on South Glacier near the old mines. There's a good possibility that if they made it that far downstream, they might have found shelter in one of the old mining huts. That's a 10-4. Maybe somebody saw them. Well, unfortunately, those old shacks were built during the gold rush, and no one's lived there for years. But that doesn't mean that the kids couldn't be holed up there. 
Could they make it that far in just two days? Well, when kids are missing their mom and dad, I find that they can do things that don't seem possible. <laughs> Ow! Leave me alone! Shut up! Kids made it that far. They are quite the hikers. Any sign of Slim, over? That's a negative. Just the truck. Slim doesn't have a truck. You know, my brothers are gonna get help. Soon police will be swarming all over here. I'd get out of here if I were you. Oh, please don't hurt me. I'm shaking in my booties. Now get in there. Stand out as much as you can, honey. It'll all be over. Barnes, over. I think I see something due east of Slim's. I copy that. What is it? I see a young boy going into one of the mines. Jake, yes, come on. Is there anybody else with him? Can you set her down? Do you have a landing zone, Homer? That's a negative. The terrain is way too rough. I'll instruct the ground force to converge on the location. Over. Copy that. We can be there in 20 minutes. Let's go. in Bel Air. <laughs> yep. ah. And you, <laughs> you're my catamaran in Fiji. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say we get out now while we can still spend it. You know, you really should listen to your friend. <laughs> Yeah, I heard it. Sounds like a bear. <laughs> what do you think? We're in the middle of the woods. Check it out. You check it out. We will both check it out. <laughs> and you, you little gopher, keep digging. Okay, so 
calls a bear in another lifetime. Let's get out of here. No, oh, we got a bear. A bear from another lifetime. Go back to the truck and load the rest of the gold. I got some unfinished business. Don't we need the hostages? What about... Okay. Okay. You know, kids, I'm not really a violent man. But after all the problems you put me through, I'd have to categorize this as, as what? R&R. &R. Where's my brother and sister? Where's my brother and sister? You had to do it, didn't you? They did it to themselves. Now let's go! Where are they? Well, you're gonna be soon, kid. Soon! Carly, are you okay? Yeah, but it's kind of hard to breathe in here with all this dust. We're gonna suffocate, aren't we? No, I've got an idea. Sure have. Let's go. Come on, we can squeeze through. They're gonna take Jake and all that gold. They're gonna kill him. They're gonna dump his body in a ravine when they cross the border, and then we're not gonna see it until it's all decomposed and... Well, that's the way it always happens on TV. Listen, you're right about one thing. If you let Jake go in that truck, he's as good as dead. Well, go. then what are we gonna do? If you can get over to that truck, I'm sure you could start it. And then drive it. No way. Not me. Why? Because I'm gonna help Jake go in the back, that's why. I don't know. I'm scared. Carly, you can do this. Just turn the key, pull down on the shift, and step on the gas pedal. Come on, you've seen Dad do it a hundred times. I know, but I don't know if I want to do it. Listen, you can do this. Just pull down on the shift and gun it, okay? Yeah, and what if it doesn't start? Then we go to plan two. What's that? There is no plan two, is there? Come on, let's go. What are you guys doing here? You're gonna get yourselves killed. Shut up and come on, we're getting out of here. Turn the key and gun it. Just turn the key and gun it. Go, go, go! Hey! Hey! Come back here! That's my goal!
my day, my little man. Now, the one thing that would make me happy is to watch you die. Hey, leave him alone. I'll get to you later. That's enough, Al. It's over. It's over when I say it's over. Now, you tend to the gold. The gold is gone. Come on. Are you listening, Al? It's over. Now, let's just leave these kids alone and get out while we can. Come on, Al, don't be stupid. You really want the blood of these kids on your hands. Maybe not. Sorry, boys. Don't seem to be any winner in today's game. Don't do it. I hate kids. It's okay. We're okay. Hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. Uh, Is that right? I'm okay. Hey, there's a guy. He's hurt in the mine. We were so worried. We didn't know if you were... We didn't know where you were. Where's Carly? You have the right to remain silent. You refuse that right. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You say Carly's in the truck? Well, she got in the truck and she started driving down the road. What do you but mean she started driving down the road? I'm sure she's fine, Mom. Where? Where's your sister? I'm right here. Oh, baby. Mom, I'm OK. Really, I am. Listen. I'm not coming home until you two decide to get back together again, so we can all be a family. Okay. All right, that's good. We'll talk about it. She does have a point. She is pretty smart for her age, Dad. Yeah, well, uh, apparently your dad has a little growing up to do, so uh, if you'll let me, I'd like to do it at home with you guys. 
Dad said we can get through anything if we stick together. Well, I... I guess we should give it another try. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Come on. I knew you'd save the day. It must be me, Dad. It was Justin. What? The school punching bag? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? I don't hear anything. You have reached a number that is no longer in service.